Now hopefully during manufacture solder mask does not outgas, but it can. Some solder masks uh, absorb moisture and they absorb other materials during their processing or when we go through our assembly operation. Now outgassing from solder masks can affect the adhesion of conformal coating. It can affect um, other soldering operations that we may be conducting. If we're doing uh, packages which have no flow underfill, then certainly it will increase the void formation. It would also include, increase the floating of packages within uh, a reflow process. Now, if you're looking at using underfill, traditional underfill, as a process, then removing the moisture first from the surface of the resist is also important to prevent void formation. Now, I've done investigations over the years, and one thing that's uh, worked quite well is a simple on-the-shop floor test is take a board, expose it to uh, elevated temperatures similar to soldering, and look for outgassing from the mask. And how you would, would you do that? Well, simply use a high-temperature oil. You put the oil on a selected position on the PCB and watch for outgassing. And if you see bubbles forming in the oil, that means something is coming out from the surface. You can't really analyze it, but you know it's there. So that may be the cause of a particular problem you have in your assembly process.